Let's open up and tour the all new 2022 Grand Design Momentum G-Class. This is the 29G. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to show off this awesome toy hauler with you guys today. We're gonna go a walk around the outside, show you guys some of the cool features with this unit closed up. Then we're gonna get on the roof and do the same thing. Then we're gonna go on the inside, show you how practical would it be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, use the restroom, or maybe cook a meal. How easily accessible is this RV? Then we're gonna take, open it up together and give you a final overlook at this beautiful travel trailer toy hauler. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's rock and roll. So, man, this is just such a great toy hauler. It's got so many great features on here. I just can't get over um, this lineup of the momentum for, from Grand Design. They put out a really good product. Fully molded fiberglass front cap. You've got LED running lights on the front, as well as RGB color changing uh, LED lights on the bottom, which is pretty sweet. They have a uh, electric uh, power tongue jack on here that comes in extremely handy as far as docking up, especially at night with that little convenience light. You got dual 20 pound propane tanks, which you fill upon your purchase, as well as provide you with a battery. You also have a nice little uh, diamond guard rock plate on here to help as far as rock chips goes. Fiberglass vacuum bonded sidewalls, aluminum substructure, heated and enclosed underbelly. You've got a nice full span 18 foot awning on here with the built in LED light strip. Very cool. I love in here. On the 21G, it was a little bit smaller. At least this one's got a little bit larger of a space in here, but you've got a nice amount of storage. You guys can take that and kind of modular set it up as far as your storage features. Uh, the things that you guys want to put in here. You also have a section uh, with a outside spray hose. You also have your manual overrides to be able to raise and lower your uh, your jacks. You are pre-wired as well for tire pressure monitoring sensors. You have on off and motion sensing LED lights and then this is the button for your front cap light on the insulated baggage doors. You also have uh, manual jacks right here, but get yourself a three-quarter inch socket. Hook that up to a drill. That's going to raise and lower much faster. Uh, 110 power source right here. You also have a section for cable TV or satellite. Um, magnetic catch for this uh, door. Um, standard setup on your steps on both the front and rear. You got a nice uh, Rockford Fosgate sound system. This puppy will thump. Uh, this is the 29G, G class uh, by Momentum. This is a sweet setup, guys. Uh, Dexter axles. You guys have uh, aluminum rim upgrade, uh, Goodyear Endurance, USA made tires with uh, pre wire for tire pressure monitoring sensors. This is just a sweet, sweet toy hauler. Also, coming around back here, got a nice large back door to be able to open up, put all your buggies and your side by sides and stuff in here. This has got an 11 foot garage. Um, it's got a spring assist as well, and it also comes with the um, outdoor patio railing system, which we will set up as well once we get to that point. Um, this is a 30 amp service. You got a 30 gallon uh, fuel system on here as well. That is also tied in uh, with your generator. Um, this is the pump right here to turn it on and turn it off. Um, you have a fully accessible uh, walkable roof with the ladder. Simply pull these pins like so. Take, pull that down. I'm gonna set these pins right here and we're gonna crawl on the roof, show you guys the cool roof. Hopefully I don't fall because I'm doing this with one hand. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, you've got a Coleman Mach, a 15K AC unit. You've got uh, Air 360 siphoning vents. You've got a, um, a 12 volt fan as well with the built-in rain sensor, which is a really e uh, excellent feature to have. Um, 175 watt solar panel. Very cool RV with your TPO roof as well. Coming around here, you see the opposite side of those sweet Goodyear USA made tires and your suspension system. That's where your 30 amp service plugs into. This is a 30,000 BTU furnace, six gallon hot water heater. It also has your anode rod in there that helps out as far as uh, sacrificial metals and stuff so it does a, the water doesn't eat away the inside of your, uh, your water tank. It'll eat away at the anode rod. Uh, black tank flushing right here. You've got your convenience center. Everything's all properly labeled, easily located as far as winterizing and dry camping. Um, you've got battery disconnect. You also have a 110 power source here as well that comes in really handy. Hook up your uh, heated hose in the winter time and you guys can plug that into right here. This is the port to be able to run your cable TV to the garage. And then you have an outside hot and cold spray shower with a convenient little uh, 
removable cap that you can have everything run up through here. Close this, open this puppy up. It does come with a uh, Cummins Onan uh, 4000 generator. Very awesome. What a beautiful travel trailer toy hauler. Very nice, let's go ahead and go inside and open this puppy up. So I talk about it a lot. Um, we just really like to make these videos, just give you guys a better understanding on how the RV industry is. Let you guys see these units closed up because we have to open them up regardless to show them to you. So what better way than to open them together and see and show how practical it is. If you are the person who's buying this, how easily accessible is this RV? So walking into here, you're gonna see, um, You've got dual entry, so in the rear you could technically be able to access uh, the 11 foot garage in the back, uh, but at this front area you see you have a little bit of room here to be able to move around. Got a nice area if you guys did want to maybe lounge out on the couch while the unit is um, still closed up. Uh, if you had to maybe take a nap or something, you could do that or have one of the friends or family members do that. And then right here you'll see that the bed slide is more or less uh, unaccessible when the unit is closed up because the uh, queen size mattress does have the front portion that folds forward in order for the unit to close up completely. As far as bathroom goes and shower, completely accessible. I like this quite a bit. So, you know, if you don't want to use the gas station bathrooms and you guys want to pull over on the side of the road, easy, easy access to be able to, uh, to do this. Let's go ahead and take, we're going to go ahead and open up this RV. This is the opposite side of your command center. Um, you're going to see your fuel station for your uh, gasoline, for your side-by-sides and your generator. Um, this is the button to turn on and off your generator. You usually hold down stop to prime it. And once you hold that down for a certain amount of time, you're gonna see the light come on and then you can hold down start, wait for a couple of seconds and then you can let off once the unit um, warms up. Um, this is your power control system. You also have a convenience center right here, checking your battery, your fresh water, black water, uh, gray one. Um, your black water one, black water two, ceiling lighting, exterior lighting, water pump, if you guys are carrying water with you to go dry camping, and then your water heater, whether you're running off of gas or electric, electric and then you have an awning light. Slide one in and slide one, uh, slide two, and then your awning extension and retraction. So we're gonna go ahead and do slide one, press out. You're gonna see right behind me, this is a Schwintech slide system. Once this gets to its fullest extent, the motor's gonna kinda wind down. It lets you know that it's uh, um, at its completely open uh, portion and then you guys can let off the button to let this, uh, let this completely open up. We'll go ahead and get this almost there. Can you guys hear it? There you go. So now we are open completely. And now you can look in here, you've got plenty of additional room to move around. Let's get into that a little bit more. Let's go ahead and open up the bed slide. So we go ahead and press bed, out. Once again, another Schwintech slide system. You use a worm uh, gear drive system to pretty much uh, use all four of the um, portions of the slide outs to open correctly uh, and evenly, which is a really nice, uh, good and reliable. It's, uh, it's, a good, it's a good build on this, this is nice. I like this as well. Sometimes you'll see slide outs that have it for the bed and it's not um, covered with carpet. So that the fact that they kind of do that, you know, rather than that dragging back and forth on some plywood and potentially tearing up your mattress, I do appreciate that quite a bit. Close this. You also have a ventilation fan right here on off and it has a built in rain sensor, which I mentioned outside. TCL flat screen TV with the Roku settings so you guys can get your Netflix, Hulu, Prime, all that stuff if you guys have an area that offers Wi-Fi. Um, Rockford Fosgate sound system I was mentioning outside. Um, AM, FM, Bluetooth, um, multi-zone selection. You guys can download the application as well and then you have a convenient little USB charging section. Hardwood cabinetry, plenty of area to be able to store all your goodies and stuff in here. This does have carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, all the typical safety features, emergency exits all that kind of stuff an RV should have I love that they hook you up with this it's a nice porcelain toilet um, you've got your little uh, vanity and then of course your medicine cabinet you've got another uh, 12 volt fan set up in here with the built-in rain sensor nice setup with the walk-in shower as well I like that they hook you up with that updated shower sprayer that looks pretty cool compared to the standard one that used to came out to come out um, that that was kind of a little, a little bit more cheap um, so I do like that a lot nice 
big panoramic mirror with the backlighting on here. You've got a section right here, open this up. More deep pocket storage. You've got a pole going across to be able to hang some clothes. 110 and USB charging ports. Um, this button right here activates that backlighting. Stainless steel ball bearing drawer glides. Plenty of storage up here. Take this mattress. This will fold down. Queen size mattress. You've got more overhead storage there as well. Also little nooks on the side. Very cool. Um, let's see, uh, nice pocket doors in here as well. Definitely convenient. You have an eight cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator upgrade, which is pretty sweet. That is the Norcold, very nice. Uh, Furion three burner cooktop with the tempered glass insert. Definitely uh, make sure that you guys don't cook with this tempered glass. This is basically additional countertop prep space and it's a splash guard kind of for the back portion whenever you guys are cooking. So once you're done, make sure this is cooled down completely before you return this into its original position because you could potentially shatter your tempered glass and the fact that it's tempered, it goes into a thousand pieces and it's not fun to clean up. So you got also right here on off, and uh, convenience light at night, nice little oven, chip pizza, some chocolate chip cookies in there. You got the overhead hoods when you guys are burning the bacon. Furion microwave. There's your, uh, that looks a 10 inch um, subwoofer on there. Very cool. More storage, plenty of cabinet space on here. Good, good amount of uh, countertop prep space as well. They also include that little nook right there in the corner. I like that quite a bit. And man, I, so I looked at this and I was like, man, why would they put that right there? Because you don't even have an outlet. There's your outlet right there. So you guys can put a coffee maker on here, um, a toaster, um, you got a 12 volt charging system or USB charging right here as well. Click that little LED light, additional storage in here. Very cool. Um, solid surface look countertops. You got a one piece stainless steel sink insert with the vegetable drying rack, chef style faucet. Awesome. Come down here, they include a little trash can. Drawers, drawers, drawers. I love, love, love how you guys' furnace is not in the floor. It's actually ducted uh, through the sides, so the returns are much easier as far as clean out and stuff go. Overhead cabinet storage here as well. And then you've got the Thomas Paine collection theater style seating. This is pretty sweet. You can take this middle portion, pull this down, put your cups and everything in there as well. You've got privacy pleated curtains as well. All your windows are at a 20% tint level, so it's uh, easy for you to see out, but it's difficult for somebody to see in. Of course, your um, additional Rockford Fosgate speakers mounted in the ceiling. Coming back here, love this. This is cool. Entertain the friends and family, stow your buggies, turn this into a garage, turn it into a pretty much anything. This is the best part. Um, Happy Jack modular bunk system. I'm putting a little description here in the bottom lower uh, side just to kind of give you guys a better idea on how um, the functionality of this is and how modular it can be as far as setting it up. You've got an access ladder to get onto the top. You also have a nice little outside um, table. Um, additional privacy um, curtains and stuff of course in here. You've got your uh, your rods for the table to hold them up. You've got pick points on multiple corners over here to be able to tie down all of your toys. Very nice. And then coming over here, nice little setup. It's a little tight in here, but it definitely serves its purpose. A nice little half bath. So you guys got the kids or the friends or family member and stuff in the back and they're you know, wanting to use your restroom. You can corral them back here. Very cool. More overhead storage in here as well. Sweet, and then of course the garage portion of your cable TV and satellite output with a 110 power source and a TV backer to put you another flat screen TV. Lights here for your ceiling lights, lifting up and down your Happy Jack bunk system, and you have a rear awning. It's an eight foot low profile um, scissor style awning. And then of course the rear awning lights. Next, but not least, let's open up this patio and set it up. So we're gonna go ahead and walk out the side door right here down here and I didn't put the steps out so definitely be careful when you guys are exiting when you're owning this so it's got that it's got a nice little Aluma grip tread very nice coming back here 
So to open this up, of course, the camera's gonna be a little bit shaky. I can actually do this with one hand, but it just kinda gets a little bit uh, shaky. So I do appreciate your all support and understanding. Of course, uh, these are lockable as well. I have noticed one thing, and this is something critical that Grand Design should definitely take notice into fixing. You simply pull this, and this pops right out. Super easy. Um, and you can lose it, and of course you can get water and stuff in there. Um, in order to keep that sealed and that in place, I would recommend just taking some caulk or something, just simply putting that over there. I wouldn't use super glue because if you ever did need to maybe take it out or maybe change it out, it's a lot easier to be able to do that with some like some basic you know home caulk. But yeah, if that pops out, it's not a good thing. So LED running lights, of course, on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You're pre-wired for the industry's best Furion backup camera. There's your carefree, low-profile scissor-style awning, which will open up as well. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this back portion. So pull this down. It's going to be weighted because it's got the patio edition on it. And so it is spring assisted, but I do recommend if you're not as experienced as others, maybe potentially having two people help you open this up and just taking your time with opening it up. Uh, Cause unfortunately uh, back patios on toy haulers and stuff are pick points for um, pinches and just getting your finger caught up in stuff. I've done it a couple of times and it's not the most fun. So simply take this rod right here, pull that out. Of course, if you guys wanted to load in a side-by-side, -side, all you would simply have to do is take and pull this out. This would actually lay down. You could stand your railing up and then pull your buggy up into the back portion of it. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is simply lift this patio section up. We're gonna pull these rails out like so. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. Pull that out, and pull this one out. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is just simply take one section of it, you're gonna kind of pull it out and then it stands up. Once it stands up, you take this rod, and push it into there, and then that'll hold into place. Do that on the exact same other side. Simply take this rail right here, pull and stand up like so and while that's being stood up take and put your your pin back in just like that so now it won't come down do the same thing on this rear section i'm gonna go ahead and set it up because i do include a very nice uh, 360 tour to let you digitally walk around this rv and pretty much open it up yourself um, it is in the link below in the description so I highly recommend you checking that out. It definitely gives you a much better perspective than I can provide for you. And we're always about going above and beyond. Of course, while I'm setting this up, you know, no documentation or prep fees. Uh, all of our taxes are out the door without, or all of our prices are out the door with, um, unless you're tax title and licensing and any additional accessories. We include an RV training class for all new and used purchases. And we're actually currently on our private campground. So when you purchase the RV, you actually, this is where it's gonna be parked when you guys come to pick it up. We give you a training class, you have full service hookups, and we uh, train you and then we leave you alone. Let you get acclimated to it if you've got issues or you've got uh, some, some questions, you're still here on the lot. You wake up the next morning, we can help you out. So next we're gonna go ahead and take this right here. And down here there is a little Velcro strap and you always want to return these back. It makes it that much easier as far as setting it up goes. We're going to pull this over, set that into place. Come back down here. You see this other Velcro strap. There it is. Pull that off. Pull this out like so. And actually, the other one needs to go first. And just like that, it locks into place. Very nice. Okay, so there, there's your back patio. Very, very nice, I like that quite a bit. Good amount of room back here, entertain the friends and family. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I am right. This has a really awesome Gen 2 Three Seasons patio door that's modular, you guys can take and uh, you know close the windows off completely, you guys have a screen door, all that kind of stuff. It'll actually, the doors will remove completely, but it comes from the factory locked. So I've done this, kind of a tour several times and I always get to that point and expect the door to open up and it doesn't. So we gotta go inside and open it up. But we're gonna have to go inside anyways because we're gonna open up the awnings 
and then close this out. So right here, coming up into here, pull this open this beautiful. All right, Gen 2 Three Seasons patio door. I like that quite a bit. If you guys didn't want it, all you have to do to open it, to pull that little pin and that will open. And then there's a removable door feature so you guys can take it out completely if in the instance you guys just don't want it in here or you guys wanna be able to fit another kind of side by side or additional stuff in here or even simply take out the railing portion. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the eight foot awning. We'll go ahead and press that. Once again, this is the uh, carefree, low profile, scissor style awning. It does have a built-in LED light strip, but it comes in extremely uh, handy because, you know, you're entertaining friends and family off the back. You guys can be able to have additional shade. I've seen on multiple occasions where the patio's been closed up completely and they'll actually park their side-by-sides and behind the RV and be able to work on it underneath the shade. So that is a really sweet setup. Plenty of room. It completely covers the back patio and some. This is a very nice RV. Coming up here, we're gonna walk up and open this awning, the beautiful 18 foot awning, and then we will wrap it up. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me throughout this whole video. Awning extension. So what we're gonna do, press extend. So of course this is a brand new awning. So once it gets to its fullest extent, you're gonna see a flap that folds down. Sometimes it will fold down and sometimes due to moisture and heat, sometimes it'll wanna stick. But when you know that flap comes down, that's when you know that the RV uh, awning is at its fullest opening portion. If you kept holding that, it would continue to run, but it would roll up on itself backwards and you don't wanna do that. That is right there where you want your awning to be. It's at its fullest extent, right there. Very nice, full span. You've got the uh, LED light strip on there as well. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Da -da 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 awning light. Beautiful. Sweet. Very cool. This is Solera. It also has a pitch adjustment depending on how you want the rain to fall off. But definitely be careful if you guys are leaving the campsite or if you guys are about to go to bed and you could have some freak gusts of wind or a good storm coming in, you wanna make sure to keep this awning closed. Okay, well, let's give you guys a final look over at this RV, this beautiful toy hauler. Ladies and gents, this is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter. I really appreciate y'all joining me. I uh, ask that you guys please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you guys soon. Happy camping. Oh, Headed on down